Greetings, everybody. You are monitoring your local chipmunk information channel. Today we've heard some really sad and tragic news, and I have to be the bearer of it for all those listening here in Los Angeles and in Hollywood. We've learned that one of our own, Alvin, has been charged with first-degree manslaughter. Though he did not kill Dave Seville, he has been arrested and charged with attempted murder. And he's also being charged, I believe... Thank you. We're being told he was also charged with suspicion of murder, or conspiracy to commit murder. So I don't think we should think Alvin's going to get out of this. I mean, it's, it's a tragedy for all chipmunks in this country to think... We had a man speaking for us, and he goes over the edge and kills, or tries to kill somebody like Dave Seville. Who would have ever thought this would happen? Oh, look at who's in the, look who's in the studios. It's Simon and Theodore. Come over and sit down, guys. I want to ask you a couple of questions, if you don't mind. It's good to see you, Simon. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Theodore, it's, it's been a long time. Yes, it has. Look, I don't want to keep you guys. I know y'all have recording to do at the studio, so let me just ask you real, real quick. What happened? Why did Simon... Why did... Simon, why didn't Alvin get crazy? Why did he do this, this insane thing? I mean, we get along with humans so well. Why, why, would, he, why would he turn on, uh, on Dave Seville like that? Who knows, Herman? I mean, Alvin has always been the voice piece for us. I mean, he, he was so great at, at, at projecting that, that energy and that, that friendly attitude to the kids. And it, he just, he snapped. That's, that's what we've told CBS and all the other networks, that Alvin just couldn't handle it anymore. He got... It, it, it all went to his head. It really did. We kept it in perspective because we knew we were trying to do something good, make people laugh, make the kids happy, make it fun for them, for everybody. And then for Alvin, he never got enough. He was never satisfied with what Dave gave him. Theo, what is your feelings about what happened? It's the same thing. I mean, we... We try to keep everything going. We kept trying to tell Alvin, take a tranquilizer, take something to control your feelings about all this. And he just wouldn't listen. And then he went berserk. I don't even know where the gun came from, man. I mean, there we are, one second having a great time in the studio, and then before you know it, there's this gun, and it just blew our minds. We didn't know what he was doing. I've understood, late report is, um, Dave Seville is going to make a recovery, is what they've told me. That's, that's great. I, I, you know. We'll be back in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Chipmunk Information Station for Los Angeles and Hollywood. Hey, moms and dads. Is your kids crying for food tonight? Try something different. Go by your local Albertson store today and pick up some fresh meats and vegetables. Fish is now 25 cents a pound. And ground beef is only 22 cents a pound. At your local Albertson store. So come on in today, kids. Because you'll love what your mom and dad will find for you. Then we're back again, ladies and gentlemen. This is 550 on your AM dial. This is your local chipmunk information station here in Hollywood. This is KCHP. We're here again with Alvin's two companions of the chipmunk group. This is Simon and Theodore. Hey guys, guys, it's really great to have y'all here on the station. Who would have ever thought Alvin would go absolutely berserk like this? 
We've been interviewing them, asking them questions, trying to figure out maybe how they're feeling. I mean, it's dramatic for every kid out there. I know y'all are listening today on the station. Y'all always want to know what's going on with the with the recordings and with Alvin. This is the saddest day, I'd say, for us here at KCHP because Alan has destroyed that sense of security that children have had. And how are we going to ever explain that, Simon, to the kids now? Well, you, you keep forgetting, Herman, that only two years ago we had President Kennedy assassinated, you know? And, and I know Alvin said that to the reporter for, for uh, CBS News, you know, we we do the best we can when we're recording these records for the kids to be happy and, and, and you know, I mean, it's, it's about money, but I still don't see why, why would Alvin turn like that on somebody like Dave? Dave didn't do nothing. Theodore, do you, um... Do you have plans now? Are you going to go on your own, or are you going to stay with uh, Simon? Or what, what is your plans now that Alvin has done this horrible thing? Herman, right now I'm going to stay with Simon. They say Dave plans to come back and continue recording, and that they are supposedly going to find somebody else to take Alvin's place. But the kids probably won't even know. After a couple of years, they'll probably figure, oh, it's Alvin, you know, and they'll probably just accept it. They won't even ask questions anymore. They'll just be happy to, to get the next record in the collection, and hopefully we can keep them happy, and, you know. It's a, it's, it's a fantasy world, you know? It's, 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 a, it's like make-believe. It's, it's what kids need to keep their minds active. And that's the best thing to do is get him, get him on something else. You know, let Alvin deal with it. Let society deal with what Alvin did. And let's try to keep the kids focused on something else that's going to help them and not dwell on something that makes them feel sad, you know. But I'd say right now we should think about Dave. Because Dave's still in the hospital, you know. He's, he's got a long road to recovery, you know. That's true. Well, we're going to break again for another commercial, kids. And any adults watching or listening to the station here on KCHP, this is your chipmunk information station here in Hollywood. We'll be right back. Hey, Dad. Do you need new tires for your car? Do you need to get an oil change? Well, stop by your local Goodyear dealer. They've got great deals today on tires, shocks, tune-ups, everything for your car. So don't delay. Come by today. Set up that appointment by phone. Hey, kids, we're, we're here today with two of the chipmunk world's most famous chipmunks. We've got Theodore and we got Simon here today. You're trying to boost our spirits in the midst of a tragedy. I think you all know what I'm talking about, but Alvin totally went over the edge. He went on a rampage and shot the band leader of the Alvin and the Chipmunks group, Dave Seville. And of all days, kids, he did it on Christmas. Who could ever have thought he would do something like that? But we have to look ahead to this. You know, they'll probably get another person to play Alvin. And then you'll never know what happened. You'll never remember it. You can just go on and enjoy the, the records you've been watching and or hearing and seeing on television. You know, Alvin had his own TV show, too. Hopefully they'll keep it going, to, maybe with some other actor. Theodore, um, I know it's hard to, to keep on this subject, but... How did you and Simon and Alvin get together in the first place? Not too many people know what what started you guys off together. Well, it's sort of like you, you're just doing your own thing, you know. I was playing at a local uh, at a local bar 
somebody heard me, a friend of mine, and said, hey, you know, you've got a great voice, why don't you come and, and sing for us? We've got two other chipmunks, and we're going to make a, we're gonna make a group, you know, and I said, great, I'll be there. How about you, Simon? How did they find you? Well, my experience is a little harder. I was down on my luck, and I already knew Alvin, but neither one of us figured we'd ever have any chance in the records, because who wants a chipmunk to sing, you know? And then all of a sudden, one day, we, we saw Theodore and this agent from EMI, and they came by, they'd heard about us singing, dancing, doing other things locally at the, uh, at the, these, these, uh, lounges, places where people come after they get finished with, uh, playing, and, uh, you know, it was, it was a great place to make some extra money, because we really didn't have any kind of gig, and then they offered us work, and it was really great, I enjoyed it. So now that you and Simon are, uh, happy, together, even though Alvin's not here, I mean, do you have any suggestions as far as, you know, any other guys that maybe EMI might consider? We well, got a lot of friends, but I don't know if anybody will actually sound as close to Alvin, but we plan to cooperate and do whatever they want us to do. I mean, that's, that's what it's about, isn't it? Keep tree nuts on our table to eat every day. That's what we want. You know, I didn't ask you, Simon or Theodore, but uh, you don't have any children. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got three girls. What about you, Simon? Well, I, I've got two boys, and, uh, you know, when this happened, I kept thinking, are we going to have enough tree nuts to eat now because who knows if EMI will drop uh, our contract? Are they going to keep us going? Are they going to say we can't work anymore because of what happened about Alvin. What about you, Theodore? How do you feel? I think there's still a chance that we could keep the group going. We've been saying that all along. I think they'll find somebody else. Because Dave's still here with us, you know? So I think there's a very, very, very good chance that we'll rebound after this is all over. We'll probably be even stronger as a group. The best thing is, we don't have to do any live performances, do we? We can go in the studio and record, and most people probably even never even recognize us when we're at home, you know? So, I've enjoyed it while it's lasted, and I think, I think we're going to keep going. I think we're going to make it. Well, thank you, Simon, and thank you, Theodore, for coming here on the KCHP today and talking to us. Hey, and kids, keep those personal letters that y'all write to us coming. We really love to hear from y'all. And you can also reach us for the official fan club for Alvin and the Chipmunks right here at KCHP, your official Chipmunk information station serving Hollywood and the outlying areas of Orange County. Sears today.